Hello everyone, we will continue the topic, how to display the data of more than 128 characters in ALV for a particular column. And as a part of that, we displayed the output in the form of ALV grid. Then we simply uncommented the parameter for the user command. We provided some name in front of that. We created a subroutine with the same to same name. We provided the program name by uncommenting the parameter i underscore callback underscore program. And this feedback column is say we enable the hotspot property for the feedback column. Whenever user will click on to that hotspot of the feedback column, we all know which particular subroutine will call, user command will call because user is performing a action, user is giving a command. So we simply, simply write the logic into this particular subroutine. Now, whenever user will click here, Suppose if I will run this particular program, whenever user will click on to this hotspot or hyperlink, we will call a screen and on that screen, we will display the full feedback. So now what we will do in this particular subroutine for the user command, firstly, I will go for calling of a screen. So you all know what is the syntax to call a screen. I will simply write call screen, screen number. Suppose my screen number is 100. Whenever I will double click, system will prompt me. Yes, do you want to create the screen? Yes, I want to create the screen. Yes, I want to create. Now you can now become very, very friendly. Every screen has three parts, attributes, element list, flow logic, and we have these types of screen, normal, subscreen, model, dialog box. When I started that topic, I told you, yes, you can display the feedback in the form of pop-up also. At that time, you can take the screen type as model dialog box, yes. Suppose I will go for normal screen only. I will give the short description. Now, now you all know you can design the layout through screen painter. So I will click on to layout button. Now I will design the screen painter. I will design the layout through screen painter. Sorry. I will design the layout through screen painter. Now here we will design the layout. Now before designing the layout, I will show you the already developed program. Suppose I am passing the employee ID. Suppose if I am clicking on to this hotspot. So here I am getting the full feedback. But customer will say it will be very good if I will be able to see the employee ID also. So it will be good. We will display the employee ID also and we will display the full feedback also. So what I will do, I will firstly create a label. You all know whenever you want to go for label, you need to create a text field. So that you, customer can easily understand that this feedback is for this particular employee ID. Suppose I will give EMP ID underscore LBN. I will provide the text. Suppose I am saying employee ID. Now I will take a input output field. Suppose name of this input output field is LB underscore EMP ID. In the coding, we need to use same to same name and I will save. Now, important learning from the interview perspective. Now, what is this? 
but is this in which we have to display the full full feedback now those who know when when we displayed the alv by using clgui alv grid class if you do not have knowledge of this, you can simply refer the ABAP OOPS playlist. You can see the videos of this particular class. Now, when we displayed the ALV by using CLGUI ALV grid class, what we did at that point of time. Firstly, we created the object of the container. So what was the class for the container? CLGUI custom container. Now in that container, we create in that container, we displayed the ALV grid and container act as a parent. Container is the parent for this ALV grid. So if you remember when we displayed the ALV by using CLGUI ALV grid class, then at that time, Firstly, we created the container container in that container. We displayed the ALV. It means for the ALV, the, the parent is the container. Now, rather than ALV, this is not ALV. This is not ALV. This is some sort of text. This is some sort of text. Now, firstly, we will go for container. Container is as it is. In that container, now we will not display the ALB. We will display the text. So for that, SAP has given a different class and the class is CLGUI text edit. Important question from the interview perspective. If someone is asking you, yes, okay, you displayed the full data on the different screen. Then how you displayed that? The answer is yes. We created the container and in that container, we displayed that particular text by using this particular class. And yes, for this also, what is the container? What is the parent? Container is the parent. Previously, container is the parent for ALV grid. Now, container is the parent for this text edit. So, I will create a container. You all know. Whenever we want to go for container, we will create this custom control. I will copy this. I will just design this. I will give some name to the container. Suppose I am saying C-O-N-T. In this container, we will display the text. Previously, we displayed the ALBS. Now, I will simply save. I will go for close and yes, I will activate up to this level. I will activate up to this level. So now we will go for this. So we created the screen and we designed the layout onto that particular screen. Now in this container, in this container, in this container, whatever the container we designed, we need to display the text. We need to display that text. Now we will write the logic for the same. Now the question comes where we need to write the logic. We will write the logic in PBO or we will write the logic in PAI. See, Whenever you will click on to this, whenever you will click on to this hyperlink, whenever you will click on to the hyperlink, screen will call, screen 100 will call and we want that text to be there. It means we are not performing any action on the screen. Whenever screen is coming, I want the feedback there. It means I will write the logic in PBO process before output because I want this feedback whenever screen is appearing. So I will write the logic in PBO of that screen. I will double click onto this screen. I will uncomment the PBO module. 
I will double click on to the module. I will go for yes. Yes, I will go for new include. Okay. Yes. Now I will write the logic here. You all know steps will always, always remain the same. Firstly, we will create a object of the container. Then we will create a object of this particular text. And yes, and for this particular text, what will be the parent? Container will be the parent. So I will simply declare two objects first. And for the best understanding, I will simply open these two classes into a different session. You all know you can open the global classes through SC24 transaction code. CL GUI custom container. I will display this class. So firstly, I will declare an object of the container class. Data hello underscore c o n t type ref2 now this is our container class now i will declare another object for that text suppose hello underscore text type ref so now if i will show you that class so I will write CL GUI text edit. Yes. So I will use this particular class. So I declared the object of the container class. I declared the object of CL GUI text edit class. Previously we have container and ALV grid. Now we have text edit. Now, firstly, I will create a object of the container class. So I will write create object hello underscore c o n t. I will check the syntax and I will get a error. It is saying you have not passed the value to mandatory parameter container underscore name. And you all know it is fully, fully explained in the ABAP OOPS playlist also. Whenever we will create an object, SAP automatically call which method? Constructor method. Constructor. If I will double click on to this particular class, we have a constructor method there. If I will find the constructor method, If I will go to find next, this is the constructor method. If I will check the parameters, you can see all parameters are optional. There is only one pa 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 parameter that is mandatory, that is container underscore name. And if you remember just now when we got the error, it is saying you have not passed the value to mandatory parameter container underscore name. And in this particular constructor method, all parameters are by default importing, importing. If here it is importing, it means whenever we will call in the program, it will treat as exporting. So I will write exporting. And now I will write container underscore name. The name of the parameter is container underscore name. And please give the same to same name which you gave in the layout. If you remember in the layout, the name of the container we gave is COMT. And many people will give in small letters, never give in small letter else it will not recognize. SAP editor is not case sensitive, but strings are always, always case sensitive. I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. 
So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what we did, we all know whenever we will click on to that hotspot, user command will call. So in that user command subroutine, we called a screen. Now after that, yes, on that particular screen, we designed the layout. Firstly, I took a text. I took a label for the employee ID. I took a input field for the employee ID. Now we need to display the text, that particular text. So you will display that text in the container container and for the container we have the class clgy custom container in that container we will display the text so as a part of that we have written the logic in pbo why pbo because whenever screen will come we want the data to be there so it means we need to do everything in the pbo in the PBO, I created the object of the container class. I got an error that you have not passed the mandatory parameter container underscore name because whenever we are creating the object, SAP is automatically calling the constructor method. So we pass the value of container underscore name parameter. Now, in the next video, we will further move with the next steps. So, that's it in this video. Thank you.